Before we begin, here's a disclaimer to answer to some confusion that's been swirling around lately. This mod pack isn't intended to compete with the existing modding community. It's a collection of mods that's intended to allow people who normally can't use mods to experience them on the console of their choice. I do not claim ownership of these mods. They were made with the blood, sweat, and tears of hardworking and talented individuals, and as a member of many fan-driven communities myself, I consider it disrespectful to claim the works of others for my own. In the description, before the download link, is a collection of credits for every creator I could find whose mods were used in the creation of this mod pack. They've been split between models and skills, and for the most part are arranged in an arbitrary order. Unless stated otherwise, you can generally assume that most mods are not of my creation. I've made plenty of edits, both major and minor, as well as original mods of my own for this compilation. However, please assume that the majority of mods you'll find in the mod pack are made by others regardless. I only claim explicit ownership over the specific rearrangement of skills, stat edits, the CSS reorganization, the universal charging overhaul, Goku Black moveset, and various minor edits such as renaming and rebalancing. So with those very necessary pleasantries out of the way, let's get right to the content. I'm not going to keep you waiting for even longer than you already have. First off are some major bug fixes. The random crashing bug that used to activate when you entered the CSS has been removed. It's completely gone. In fact, the new build is completely crash free. There was also an oversight in the previous version that removed Super Saiyan God. It's been added back in for good. If you've lost it, replay the first tutorial again, and you'll get it as a 100% chance drop. New moves have been added, and movesets have been revised to better make each character unique. This includes combo strings and other such details. For example, the fusions now use grabs taken from revamped Xenoverse 2 and the Xenoverse 2 expanded project. Additionally, every single costume belonging to a character now has the same stats, meaning choosing your favorite costume is no longer a matter of picking between terrible stats or good drip. Different forms, however, still do have different stats. As a general rule, if the name is the same between costumes, they all have the same stats. An entire fleet of new costumes have been added as well, with many of them referencing forms that weren't originally included. Instead of splitting bland, common moves across characters to distill them for the sake of having different forms, these new costume forms share the same stats, names, and skills as the original, meaning you won't have to play as a lesser version of a character just to experience the new form. Longtime followers of the mod pack may recognize a few of them as forms that were axed in the previous build after a hard drive crashed and necessitated an overhaul. I hope those of you who missed these forms will be happy to play as them again. Additionally, most vanilla costumes that were removed for whatever reason have been added back in. For those interested in seeing which costumes have been added, please refer to a segment at the end of the video where I show screenshots of every costume in the mod pack. So far, this is the most polished the mod pack has ever been, and I'm proud to finally present it to you after so long. But there's one more series of announcements to make. Four new characters have been added, and they're here to stay. Shaolot is a mixture of playstyles that intends to mimic the gameplay of Legends while keeping him loyal to the Xenoverse mold. Rapid Draw lets him dash out of a volley of key blasts that can be cancelled into a dash, allowing him to follow up with a heavy combo. From there, you can finish off enemies with the Wild Cannon for a Legend-style series of blows. His model is made by Gamer Chief, and his skills and combos come from Crystal, the Xenoverse 2 Expanded Project, Revamp Xenoverse 2, and Lazy Bones. Granola is the strongest in the universe, and his power and speed reflect this. With imposing long-range tools and melee options that are strong as they are versatile, Granola commands the battlefield at any range. Grilling Snipe in particular is an original skill based on revamped Xenoverse 2's code that can be one of three abilities depending on the direction you're holding. 
a combo extending jab, a stamina crushing impale, or a powerful short range blast. His model is made by Zyko Shen and Kaku Kaku, and his skills and combos are made by Zyko Shen, Kaku Kaku, Revamp Xenoverse 2, and Unleashed. Alter Ego Vegeta is a brutal and violent warrior who relies on powerful combo strings to put pressure on the opponent. Both Gallic Flash and God of Destruction's Savagery can be extended for an additional attack, and God of Destruction's Veracity punishes opponents with an invincible guard-breaking dash. Besides that, it uses a familiar toolkit standard to Gods of Destruction. He also comes with a custom Super Soul, which increases his damage at low health, referencing its key ability in the manga. His model is made by Zyko Shen, and his skills and combos are made by Azura, Revamp Xenoverse, Two and Zyko Shen. Last but not least is a surprise edition. Evening the playing field between Vegito and Gogeta is Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. With confidence and speed, Vegito dominates his opponents with hellish attacks, as if despite his godly counterpart, his skills have a fiery and sinister theming to them. His model is made by Revamp Xenoverse 2, and his skills and combos are made by the Revamp Xenoverse 2 project and the Xenoverse 2 Expanded project. All four of these new characters have received the ranged movesets and remake skills to make sure that they play as fun as possible. They're a lot more than just a slapdash combination of mods, and a lot of time and effort has gone into making them play as fun and effectively as possible. Everything from rebalancing to the universal charge makes them fit right at home with the Switch mod pack. I hope you enjoy playing as them. Before we move on to the costume showcase, I'd like to acknowledge that it took me a very long time to finish this update. That was due to the sheer amount of content I wanted to add an overhaul since I wasn't really satisfied with the state the previous version was in. Rest assured, the next update won't take as long, as I don't intend to drastically iterate on this mod again. Everything from here on out is patch updates, bug fixes, and minor content additions. Thank you all for your patience, and I hope you enjoy your time browsing this carefully curated museum of mods. Please be sure to check out the creator I have linked down below and offer your support to their Patreon accounts if you can.